Hello folks, Clyde Lindsay here at Leechburg Lights. Thanks for taking the time to stop and watch the video today. Today's video is on X-Lights, and I invite you all to go to www.xlights.org. Scroll down just a little bit here, past the download button, you'll find the donate button. Make sure you click on the donate button and uh, offer up hopefully a donation to help support the developers and the folks who do an awesome job uh, building and configuring the software to allow us to run some amazing shows. So with that being said, today's video is on X-Lights, and if I go back a page, the most recent download as of today, which is October 25th, 2017, is release.33, 2017.33. Uh, there's a lot of good bug fixes in there from the, um, the production release, which is .30, so I highly recommend this one over .30. But uh, you're welcome to go ahead and try any version that you like. So. Going uh, forward, today's video being on X-Lights is uh, very simple and I want to keep it short. Uh, basically, uh, I have, I've been asked a question and uh, I think this is something that I wanted to make a short video on because, uh, well, I haven't been able to search quickly and find the answers. So, uh, the, 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 the video isn't on effects, it's basically on um, how do you save effects and how do you uh, use those across different sequences and so forth. So what I have here is uh, is a simple effect. This is the single strand effect and what I've done is I just put two colors on it and uh, I've gone to the layer setting box and I've turned the uh, rotation or transformation, not rotation because that's a different tab. I changed the transformation to ro rotate by uh, clock counterclockwise 90 degrees. So you get this little kind of uh, square scrolling type effect and it's useful for different little things um, and I've layered it with a second effect that's the exact same and I'll show you how I did them so here's the one that is rotated and it's just red and white it has two chases and it is going in a counterclockwise direction this is the exact same effect it's only just uh, posted normal so and actually I can make it a little wider chase chase size make it much bigger so there you can see the red on it too as well and all I've done is I haven't changed the transformation. So that's that's the basic difference between these two effects. I didn't want to do anything crazy and I didn't want to um, uh, go over how to build awesome effects, but whenever you do have an awesome effect, I wanted you to be able to save them. So to do this, we just click outside. You can, you can deselect your timing marks and then you can click and drag all the effects that you want to uh, make as a kind of a shortcut. You select them all when they turn light purple there you can right click over top of them and we can go to effects preset when you go to effects presets obviously there's nothing in this directory because we're in a test folder and we're going to click new preset so this is the awesomest effect ever so that's what I'm gonna save it is and I'm just gonna click OK so now we have effects preset if you click the little button here you have your awesome effects preset and then also, and I'll make this a little make this a little bigger here, if I can. Um, you'll notice in the brackets it shows a number, and that number relates directly to the number of layers that are necessary in order to lay that effect down. So, um, now that you have created your effects preset, there's an important step you need to do, which is click on the layout tab, and you'll notice that if you go over to the layout tab, the save button will be red. That's because your effect presets are actually saved in your X-Lite -like ar layout architecture. In, in other words, your preset is saved along with your layout. So that way when you open up your layout and it, you can access all of the, all of the uh, uh, preset goodies that you've saved uh, over time as you uh, are getting used to doing uh, X-Lite's effects and so forth. Um, if you want to lay this effect down, that's easy too. We'll just scroll over here. I'll select an area and I can right click and I can click on effect presets. I can then either double click which is the easiest and that lays it down or I can select and I can click apply preset. So it does the same thing. There's just two different ways. I'm, I'm used to the double click here. The, uh, the other thing uh, that's nice about presets are you can also package them up and export them and share them with other folks. So to do that, you can click on the export button, but you have to select an effect first, export. And this is just going into my initial directory here, 
and we're just going to uh, leave it called effects awesome effect and uh, we're going to leave it as a dot x preset as the uh, file type and we'll click save and then if we do go in and i should have done this ahead of time if we do go in and i gotta find that folder Oh, it's in the Dropbox. Nutcracker uploads. Here we go. If uh, we go into, oops, that's not it. Oh yeah, it is, that's it, okay. So uh, here's your RGB effects file. And, uh, oh, let's order these, here we go. It should be at the bottom. X preset, awesome effect preset. Now, if you wanted to copy this, you could copy and you could paste it into, I don't know, um, an email document. You want to send it through Messenger, you can do that as well. Notice the size of the file. It's only as big as those two effects. And it's literally, it's a text file that tells all the uh, uh, effects what to do and how to do it. So um, you can go ahead and once you have created that effect, then you need to be able to import it. So we'll go ahead and click the import button. Once you put it in the directory or you find it on your computer, after someone has shared one with you, you just select it it'll import it and then you'll be able to click on it and you'll be able to apply it. So I hope this video helps you uh, come to grips with how to quickly save, share and export and import and uh, make use of the effects preset right click menu in the x Light sequencer tab. So guys, thanks for watching. Like I said, it was a short video. I uh, hope you enjoy. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Thumbs down if you don't. I understand. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Take care.